That's some breaking news here following more than 20 consecutive hours of negotiations. The race to avoid a rail strike in this country appears to be over. Just moments ago, the rail companies and the union negotiators came to a tentative agreement. Let's go right on over to Action News reporter Katherine Scott. She's live at the CSX rail yard in South Philadelphia with these breaking new details. Good morning. Good morning, Tam. Yeah, a lot of a relief across the board here. There were concerns about transportation, inflation, exacerbating supply chain issues. And now we learn that a deal has been reached. All of the major freight railroads, including CSX, were negotiating with their unions. And now it appears a strike will be avoided. There were two holdout unions representing 57,000 engineers and conductors, roughly half of all rail workers. And concerns had centered around sick leave and working conditions. But a tentative agreement has been reached. A statement from President Biden said in part, the agreement is an important win for our economy and the American people. It is a win for tens of thousands of rail workers who worked tirelessly through the pandemic to ensure that America's families and communities got deliveries of what have kept us going during these difficult years. Labor Secretary Marty Walsh said following more than 20 consecutive hours of negotiations, rail companies and union negotiators came to this tentative agreement that balances the needs of workers, businesses, and our nation's economy and Walsh's statement went on to say the Biden administration applauds all parties for reaching this hard fought mutually beneficial deal. Uh, our rail system is integral to our supply chain and a disruption would have been catastrophic impacts on industries, travelers and families from across the country. And that's what we've been talking about is the concern when it comes to supply chain issues. Uh, the rail system is relied upon heavily to get goods and materials across the country. And so there were concerns about what impact the strike would have. But now we have learned that a tentative agreement has been reached. We're live in South Philadelphia, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.